Finding the Molar Mass of an Unknown Acid by Roman Hardy and Julian Moran. In the field of chemistry, solutions are often used as a medium with which to carry out reactions. Halogen displacement reactions, for instance, occur in aqueous solutions and are very important in the industrial world. However, for these solutions to be useful, one must know their molarity, that is, the number of moles that one liter of a particular solution contains. This is accomplished via an important scientific procedure called a titration. But what exactly is a titration? Well, the premise behind it is very simple. A titrant, a solution of known volume and concentration, is steadily added to an analyte, the solution that needs to be identified, until the latter has been neutralized. This is called the endpoint. Once the titration is complete, dimensional analysis can be used to find the molarity and the molar mass of the analyte. In this particular experiment, the objective was to find the molar mass of a triprotic acid using titration. Because organic triprotic acids are relatively uncommon, we expected the unknown to be citric acid. This would further explain the solid's white, crystalline appearance. So, how was this all accomplished? Well, several things were provided from the beginning. Among these were standard lab materials, see Appendix B for more information, solid sodium hydroxide pellets, KHP, phenolphthalene, and of course, the acid to be identified. Immediately, NaOH can be identified as the titrant. Since its mass can be measured and its molar mass calculated, it should be possible to create a solution of it that has an accurate molarity. Fortunately, it isn't quite that simple. In reality, NaOH is a hygroscopic solid, meaning it absorbs impurities like water and carbon dioxide from the air. Therefore, the molarity of any NaOH solution will always be less than what it was meant to be. To determine its actual molarity, it is thus necessary to standardize it using a second titration. This is where KHP comes in. As an acid, KHP can neutralize such bases as NaOH and can thus be used to titrate it. To begin this first titration, an arbitrary molarity is chosen for the NaOH, 0.40 molar. Since approximately 250 milliliters of NaOH will eventually be needed, this corresponds to about 4 grams of solid NaOH. Once the analyte solutions have been made, the titrant is next. Each trial, approximately 1 gram of KHP is dissolved in 30 milliliters of water, creating a 0.163 molar solution. Now, although both the analyte and the titrant are set, there is still no way to determine whether the endpoint has been reached. To do this, another chemical comes into play, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein belongs to a group of chemicals known as pH indicators, chemicals that respond to changes in pH by changing color. Hence, by adding three drops of phenolphthalein to the KHP solution, the analyte will adopt a light pink color when it is slightly basic, signaling the endpoint. Finally, the actual titration may begin. 25 milliliters of NaOH are carefully placed in a burette and dripped into the KHP solution. Once the faintest trace of pink appears, the titration is stopped and the volume of removed NaOH recorded. Corresponding measurements and calculations are seen in the following data table. Now that the NaOH has been standardized, it is time to move on to the lab's second titration, that of the acid. Because the molarity of NaOH is known, it assumes the role of titrant. The analyte, on the other hand, is played by the unknown acid, whose molar mass has yet to be determined. Procedural steps for this second titration mirror those of the first. To begin with, roughly 1 gram of the unknown acid is measured and dissolved in 30 milliliters of water. Secondly, 25 milliliters of the standardized NaOH are placed in the burette. Then, after three drops of phenolphthalein have been added to the analyte, the acid is titrated until the endpoint. The appropriate volumetric measurements are seen in the following data table. Now, all that remains to be determined is the molar mass of the acid, as calculated in each trial. Using dimensional analysis, we can convert milliliters of titrated NaOH to liters of NaOH, from liters of NaOH to moles of NaOH, using the molarity, and from moles of NaOH to moles of triprotic acid using the balanced chemical equation shown here. Consequently, if the mass of the acid, measured at the beginning of each trial, is divided by the moles of triprotic acid, the molar mass of the unknown is obtained. Oh.